Can we give the Lord another clap before we sit down? I said, before you sit down, let's give the Lord a better clap. Let's give him some worship. Let's give him some clap. Give him some clap. He remains to be faithful. He remains to be worshipped. The book of Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. The Bible says from verses number one. And the heart of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Mkono wa Bwana ulikuwa juu yangu naye akanichukua nje katika roho ya Bwana akaniweka chini katikati ya bonde nalo limejaa mifupa. And he caused me to pass by them all around and behold there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry akanipitisha karibu nayo pande zote na tazama palikuwa na mifupa mingi katika ule uwanda nao tazama ilikuwa mikavu sana and then he said to me son of man can these bones live and so i answered o oh lord you know akaniambia mwanadamu je mifupa hii yaweza kuishi mimi nikajibu e bwana mungu wajua wewe and again he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord that says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Bwana Mungu aniambia mifupa hii maneno haya tazama nitatia pumzi ndani yenu nanyi mtaishi I will put news to you and bring flesh upon you cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live then you shall know that I am the Lord Nami nitatia mishipa juu yenu nami nitaleta nyama iwe juu yenu anaye na da, iwe uh, pumzi na iwe ndani yenu na kuwafunika ngozi na kutia pumzi ndani yenu nanyi mtaishi nanyi mtajua ya kuwa mimi ndimi bwana Verse 7 says so I prophesied as I was commanded and I prophesied there and as I prophesied, there was noise and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. And indeed, as I looked, this news and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, and there was no breath in them. Kama nilivyo amriwa, hata nilipo kuwa nikitoa unabi, palikuwa na mshindo mkuu. Na tazama tetemeko la nchi na ile mifupa ikasogeleana, mfupa kwa mfupa mwenziwe. Nikatazama kumbe kulikuwa na mishipa, juu yake, nyama ikatokea juu yake, ngozi ikaifunika juu yake, lakini haikuwa po pumzi ndani yake. And he also, and he said to me, prophesy to the bread, prophesy, son of man, and say to the bread, thus says the Lord, 
come from the four weeds O breath and breathe on this lane and they shall live and so I prophesied as he commanded me and breath came unto me and they lived and stood upon the feet in an exceedingly great army ndipo akaniambia tabiri ukatabiria upepo mwanadamu ukawaambia upepo bwana Mungu asema hivi njoo kutoka pande zote za pepo nne e pumzi ukawa ukawapuzie hawa walio walio wawa kuwa wapate kuishi basi nikatabiri kama alivyoniamuru pumzi ikawaingia wakaishi wakasimama kwa miguu yao jeshi kubwa mno and he said to me son of man these bones are the whole house of israel and indeed say our bones are dry our hope is lost and we ourselves are cut off therefore prophesy and say to them that says the lord behold all my people i will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of israel kisha kaniambia mwanadamu mifupa hii ni nyumba yote ya israeli tazama wao usema mifupa yetu imekauka na tumaini letu limepotea tumetupiliwa mbali kabisa basi nikatabiri waambie bwana mungu asema hivi tazama nitafunua makaburi yenu nikawapandisha kutoka katika makaburi yenu enyi watu wangu mimi nitawaingizeni katika nchi ya israeli May the Lord bless his word this afternoon. I say may the Lord bless his word this afternoon. I want you to look at someone and tell them prophesy. Come on tell them prophesy. Now look at someone else who is not hearing you and the other one and tell them prophesy. Now please allow me to speak a few things into our hearts because you need to understand in this kingdom you are the greatest prophet of yourself now the bible says that the spirit of christ is the spirit of prophecy the spirit of Christ is the spirit of prophecy and therefore you need to understand because you have the spirit of Christ on the inside of you and that spirit of Christ is the prophecy within you that is the spirit of prophecy that is in you you need to understand that until you speak there are things that are not going to happen God is looking for someone that can speak sometimes we are looking for people to speak into our lives oh and especially around Karatina people are looking for prophets and how can you go look for a prophet when the Lord has made you one? Oh, you're going to look for those that will spit on you. Those are not the prophets. You are the prophet of your life. You go looking for prophets that will tell you. You know, you know some people. Man, you think that you are wage komono. At the moment, waga kwera okorona hoera moduri waku moduri waku aga kwa okade kero ati moduri waku negeda ashedi omugere ihoya ya muada ni maita mero gueta no leu ogo jiku waga modu ya gati moduri waku eno eno ya igoro eto ni amugura mo demwe ona duri keri ganero you are the prophet of yourself. Onenda kwa ona kwambia ombi ombi sala ya bana madam arubaini wabe mzaka kwa zako badlika wabe ndio na bi unarudi na yote unarudi amsini madam ufika ba arubaini umechoka wabe ndio na bi. I never forget one time I was seated in the office. Sita sasa mnyani mketi ofisini. And a girl comes to the office. Mshela kaja ofisini. Ahomete. Ame ame. Tumori aneke. Nikamini. Kijira 
Mohe, 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 because listen to me, church. Until the day you will understand that the power of life and death is in the power of your tongue. The day you understand that, you will begin to use your tongue to shape your life. You are a son of God. You are a son of God. Now God gives birth to God. In fact, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, you are God. But some of you, come on, say not me. Not me. You say you are God. But some of you will die like mere men. <laughs> that you are God. Because they have not understood exactly who they are. Uh, come on, say, I am a God. Now that's exactly what Moses was told. Because when Moses was given an assignment, to go and deliver the children of Israel. The Bible says he got to a place where he felt like he cannot do the assignment. And the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter number 8, God told Moses, see, I have made you a God. I have made you a God. You are a God. We are on a moduri mokoro. But when I look at you, you are a God. Now listen to me. When you understand who you are and the power that is hidden on the inside of you, believe me, you will walk with authority. You will decrease some things. Uh, and the Bible says, we shall decree a matter and that matter will be established. The Bible says Listen to me. If you walk in a hotel, a waiter will come to you. You know, Hotel Hotel the <laughs> Listen, listen. But today, you walk in a hotel and a waiter comes to you. When a waiter comes to you, listen to me. 
Davia guess what?